guys in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to cut out how to cut your shorts very easy so the first thing we are going to do now is we are going to mark out one and a half inch so go ahead and mark one and a half inch so i'll mark one and a half inch this way i'll go in with my pattern master or ruler and then connect it to give us a straight line this way so once you connect it this is what we are going to have so this is just for our elastic because we are going to be using an elastic for this now the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark one and a half inches depending on the kind of elastic I'm making use of this elastic you can see that it is not up to one inch. this is half inch elastic so that is why I'm going to have one and a half inches but if you are making use of a bigger elastic then you have to add to the allowance so let's go ahead now and use one and a half this is just for folding allowance so we'll go ahead now and mark one and half so once we are done we'll go ahead and connect it together so this is going to serve as our waistline where we'll be taking all our measurements from this is going to serve as our waistline where we'll be taking all our measurements from so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our short length now this totally depends on how long you want it to be but note that i am starting the short length from this point and not this point so i'll go ahead now and mark 16 inches for the length of my shorts however you can make yours longer or you can make yours shorter it totally depends on you so i'll go ahead now and connect it so that i can have 16 inches for my short length right so this is where we have our short length and this is what we are working with so the next thing we have to do now is to go ahead and mark our hip measurement so our waist to hip is nine inches i know that you might want to ask me that you know how did i come across these inches i have a video on size charts where i explained you know distance from your waist to hip waist to knee length and i'm going to put the link in the description box so you can go ahead and check it out so this is what i have now i have nine inches i'm going ahead now to connect it together so let's just come again we have our trouser length this way we have our hip line we have our waistline and we have our elastic so this is what we have so the next thing we are going to do now is to divide our hip by four my hip is 40 inches so 40 divided by 4 i have 10 inch i'm going to go ahead and add one inch for my sewing allowance so go ahead and add one inch to my sewing allowance and i'm going to have 11 inches i'll go ahead and mark 11 inches all the way to my hip line and also now the next thing we have to do now is to go ahead and mark our crotch measurement there are different ways in which you can get your crotch measurement the first way is to take your measurement directly and the second way is to come down from your hip measurement by two to three inches but how will you know where or how many inches you have to come down with so for our hip now we have now we are going to have our hip divided by four so basically we have 11 so go ahead and divide this way we have about 5.5 and then you place it this way again and then you you know you divide it again you can see what i have just about 2.7 inches because my hip is 14 so now we are going to come down by that um, line which is two point seven i'm going to come down by it so it depends on what you have when you divided yours so this is what i have now i'll go ahead now and connect it you know to give me a straight line so this now is our crotch measurement this is our crotch measurement this is our hip this is our waist elastic allowance and uh, trouser lens if you have any question please go ahead and drop your questions in the comment section now to get what to use for the crotch now we are also going to use the same thing which we have so let's mark our hip measurements here so i have 11 inches because that is what i'm using all through so i have 11 inches now the same measurements we have which is 2.7 we are also going to mark it at this point we are also going to mark it at this point the same measurements we have we're also going to mark it at this point so 
go ahead and do that the reason why i'm marking on the front piece of my fabric is so that you guys can see it if you are cutting on yours please cut on the wrong side of the fabric so now this is what i have i've marked my 2.7 inches i also went down by the same inches when we divided our hip what we are going to do now is to connect this to give us a curved shape so i'm going to go in now with this arm o curve and then connect it to give us a round shape okay so you can see what we have so basically now let's just connect our hip line which is 11 inches all the way so you can see how easy it is if you have any questions please go ahead and drop it down now on your trouser length it all depends on how you want this to be so if you want it to be free you can just make use of this you know if you want the lower part to be free and if you want to give it like a form of fitting also at the lower part you can just deduct one and a half inches just so you have like a you know fitting at this lower part which is where your trouser length is know that this depends on you also so I just went in with one and a half just so that I can get this. You can see, and this is what we have for the front block. Very easy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead now and cut this out. After cutting it out, I'll show you guys what we have. So this is what we have for the front block. Of course, we have two pieces for the front block. Now we want to cut out the back block. What we are going to do is we're going to head to fold our back block into two and then we are going to place our front piece on the back block we are going to place our front piece on the back block this way now the difference is our crotch line so let's go ahead and mark the crotch line this way now don't forget that our hip we had 11 inches for the hip right and what we did for the front block is we divided 11 inches again by two we had about 5.5 and then we divided it again and then we had about 2.7 right and that was what we used for the crotch so whatever you have for your crotch for the front is what you are going to have here so thankfully enough i have the exact one also on my crotch line which is two point seven inches now because i have 2.7 inches here i'll just go ahead and mark two inches so mark two inches go ahead and mark two inches mark two inches two inches so now go ahead now and connect it together connect it together and connect it to your crotch line to give you your new crotch for the back block you can see that is actually very easy so this is what we have this is what we have you can see the new crotch line for our back block so let's say you have three inches here you can use two and a half two and a half two and a half inches all the way and then this is what we have so on this um the lower part now where we are going to have our of course we are going to have the same length also we are working with the same length also so we can also go ahead also and deduct one and a half inches just to just give it like some form of fitting at the lower part of our trousers and then we'll go ahead and connect it this way we'll go ahead and connect it this way so this is what we have for the back block and this is what we have for the front block so let's just go ahead now and cut this out we are done cutting it this is what we have so i also added like my folding allowance so by the time i fold the lower part this way the lower part of our trousers and then we fold our elastic this way you can see that we are going to have our full length so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and stitch in our pockets right so i'm going to show you guys different ways in which you can sew your pockets right so let's go ahead now and mark what we have for our pocket so this is our waistline basically don't forget that we have this to be our waistline and the length of my pocket i'm going to make use of seven inches for the length of the pocket however you can make use of yours to be six inches you can use six and a half you can use seven 
it all depends on you okay let me use six and a half inches so what i'm just going to do is i'm going to notch this gently just make sure you notch it gently guys okay so i'm going to notch this gently so this will enable me when i'm stitching you can see i've gone ahead to notch this gently so let's set this aside so of course i'm going to make use of this piece for my pocket so i'm going to fold my pockets into four and this is what we are going to have so basically the length of your pocket depends on you you can make it of 12 to 14 inches it totally depends on how long you want your pocket to be but bear in mind that we are dealing with shorts of course it simply means that since you are dealing with shorts your pocket shouldn't be too long i hope you get that so now we are going to go ahead now and stitch our pocket to our dress we are going to stitch our pocket to our short so we have four pieces of this pocket we are going to take one piece per one um piece also so front to front this way front to front this way so we notched this part i don't know if you guys can see we notched here and here right this is where we notched for the pocket so we are going to take the piece of our pocket also and we are going to stitch it from where we notched to where we want our pocket to be and then we flip it this way so i'll go ahead now you can see we have four pieces of this which is for every part of the trousers so of the shorts so let's go ahead now and stitch that so guys you can see we've gone ahead to you know just stitch the pocket to this side of it which is one piece and then also we've gone ahead also to stitch you know our pockets to every side you can see one piece here one piece here so the next thing we are going to do now is to place this is your front block now so the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and stitch this crotch line you go ahead and stitch this crotch line for the front block and for the back block also you also go ahead and stitch your crotch line once you are done the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and open up your front piece and then open up your back piece and stitch this together so you can see that you can see like this is the pocket you can see like we have one pocket stitched to one piece and then the pocket stitched to the other piece so this is very easy guys but automatically your front piece is going to be shorter than your back piece but you can see your front piece is going to be shorter than your back piece which is normal all you have to do is just to join you know this side together join it together so now what we are going to do now is to go ahead and stitch this up the front piece is going to be shorter so just make sure you make sure put the two edges close to each other this way and then you stitch so we are going to come this way this is our um you know elastic allowance we're going to come this way to stitch it and then we come to this our pocket you stitch your pocket this way and then you come back to this point you know this is where we notched for our pockets you can see right so you start from the waist you stitch it you stitch it you stitch your pockets you come back to this point where we notched and then you go ahead and you stitch all the way down on one side right now on the second side also you go ahead and join the two pieces together once you join the two pieces together this is what once you join the two pieces together this is what you are going to have you also stitch from the waist up to this point you go ahead and stitch your pockets you come back to where we notched for our pockets and then you go ahead and stitch it all the way down so after joining the sides you can see like i went ahead to join it you can see what it looks like i've also like weaved it to secure it so this is what we have and then you also do the same thing for this second side you can see our pockets is ready so the next thing you are going to do now is you are going to take the middle piece of this lower part now 
join this point and this point together and then you go ahead and you stitch it this way once you are done trust me your shot is ready the next thing you are going to do is the next thing you are going to do is to go ahead and fold that one and a half inch don't forget we have one and a half inch for the front right so you go ahead and you fold it and then you fix in your elastic so your elastic how you know the number of inches to use for your elastic your waist measurements then you deduct about four to five inches from your waist measurement deduct about four to five inches for your waist measurement and then you go ahead and you pass your elastic so by the time you are done this is what you have you can see what it looks like our shirt is ready we have our elastic that we've passed you know we folded in the one and a half inches we kept when we we're cutting it and they went ahead to pass our elastic and this is what it looks like this is the middle point make sure that the line at this back block and the line at the front block meet together and you can see what our shorts looks like so i'm going to be pairing this with a t-shirt and i'll show you guys what we have so thank you so much for watching don't forget to drop your questions in the comment section and give this video a thumbs up